What's up, Madden 25 gamers? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at our base zone beater uh, in this playbook, and we're going to be taking a look out of it. Um, primarily here, this is going to be looking at the Fade Smash, and we're in the Pistol Strong Twins. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we're in the Pistol Playbook this week, and the Pistol Strong Twins is the formation we'll be looking at. The play I want to focus on today is the Fade Smash. And our audibles we have from this is the Fade Smash, the Inside Zone Split, the Triple Option Left, and the Halfback Zone. I really like this as my running set, but I also like this Fade Smash as my zone beater. And uh, what we're going to do with this play is we're going to put Bolden on a smoke screen. We're going to put um, uh, James on a wheel route and Col Gore on a wheel route to the right. And uh, we're going to watch it happen. This is against cover four. You see cover four, we're going to have that quick smoke screen. And that fade, uh, that smash fade route is going to act like a blocker to the smoke screen. So we can get quick yards there. Um, and then another thing we can do, if they're in cover three, uh, watch what happens with the, uh, the route here to Crabtree. It's going to get bumped. So we know that's not a viable option. So we're going to hit our, uh, we're going to hit our running backs quick out of the backfield. Uh, I was a little late there. Let's try that again and show you what we're looking for against a cover three. So right there, I see it, and I want to get, but I want to get rid of the ball. Now, there's a certain way that we can, we can really make the defense have to respect the running backs. Um, the main core thing I want to focus on here is it's not always the best idea to wheel a Michael James. Sometimes you want to put him on a swing. Uh, just because he, he blocks a little bit better for Gore if he's on the swing pass. We, as you saw earlier on the wheel, he didn't block as well. So that may be a minor adjustment or tweak you may need to make to your offense. It's just something simple. Just put a swing to James, a swing to Gore, and go, and go, go, go. And, and like I said, you know, you break a tackle. But cover three primarily is not going to be beat to the outside uh, with, with Gore and, and, and uh, James here. So... What we're going to do to beat that, and that's where Davis comes in, is he's going to beat it over the middle, pass lead to the right, and it's just going to split those zones. Now, obviously, something very simple you could do is put him on a zig, and we know that that's an effective hot route to use to beat cover three uh, just because of the way that the, 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 the way the routes work this year. So we know we, can, we know we have that if we don't like the post route. I like post route because it beats man a little better than the zig. But another thing, I mean, very simple thing that you can do is you see Crabtree get pressed, look to Bolden. Bolden's wide open, take your five yards. I mean, it's just something very simple. But the cool thing about this play is if they go cover two, then this is going to absolutely torch them. And that's why we like to have, that's the situation where we really like these wheel routes on the outside. Now, obviously, Crabtree's route is almost, is almost like a, a feature route here. But at the same time, we use it in different ways. And you see against cover two, with a pass lead to the right, it's going to get intercepted. And a pass lead to the left, it's going to get intercepted. So where do you throw this route so that it gets open? You know, that's the question because, you know, it's the main route on the play, but we really are using it more like a blocking route. Um, you're going to pass lead to the inside right there, and you see it's going to get that separation. So you can pa actually, you're going to pass lead to the outside. I'm sorry. Uh, I said that wrong. You're going to pass lead to the outside because he's going to clear the yellow. So once he clears the yellow to the left, pass lead it to the left, and you see it's going to get in a really good sep uh, spot. Now, Kaepernick's accuracy has gone down as he's as he's progressed through uh, the season because he has some bad games. So he's struggling right now with hitting that pass. But I've hit it time and time again in game. And there you see that's what we're looking for. So so you see we do have the opportunity to be cover two, cover four, and, and cover three from this. And then this is the main thing I wanted to show you. Inside zone split is from this formation. It's really good from this formation. You see you're just going to pull it. Uh, you're going to call it, and you're going to come around to the left and try to hit the edge on the seal. Um, the next play I want to look at is the uh, HB zone right. This is just for situations where you just want to run to the right. And it's just a simple zone run. Uh, typically, this is going to be an inside zone run, um, you know, like maybe off the guard. But if that, you see how McDonald's playing it very well? That's part of the game. If they make block sheds like that, you're going to have to adjust. But when you get a seal here and a seal there and you can run through the alley, that's where this play is special. And then the last play I want to show you is the uh, triple option left. This is to counter. We, we're running right, we're running middle. Now we're going to run a triple option on the left side. So if they give it to us, we can now run the inside zone split basically to the right side if we because well, we're going to cut it back to the right. And then if they don't give it to us, they play the running back. We can keep it with Kaepernick off the edge here. 
and just read if they go with the pitchman or not. There they went with it, so I, ke I kept the ball with Kaepernick. So guys, these are um, the basic principles uh, we like to use to beat zone coverage in this game. Um, a lot of times, these are very simple. I mean, this will beat zone blitzes. It'll beat man. It'll beat zone. Uh, real quick, if, if we are in man, and this is why I like the post route to uh, Davis. If they're two men under, Davis is going to crush his man because he's a tight end. So just that's why that's one quick reason. And then another thing I really like about this is something I've noticed with this fade route. When it cuts to the outside, like right there, it beats man. So just kind of use that if they are a man. But typically, this is a you know these are plays you're going to call if they're if you if you know that they're in a zone in a clutch situation. And another thing I really like is the user catch on that route. So just work on that, fiddle around with it, see what you come up with. But this is just a very effective play overall. And uh, with the inside zone split out of this uh, formation, we can playmaker it left, we can playmaker it right. So we could run it left, right. We could also um, playmaker the HP zone, run it left and right based off the weakness of the defense. And so what we could do is we could set up an inside run with the HP zone by flipping it to the left and then cutting it back. So a lot of things you can do from this formation, but it all stems upon, again, it all stems upon inside zone and having the ability to beat zone coverage in Madden NFL 25. Thanks for watching today. If you guys have any questions or need further explanation, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. We'll see you guys tomorrow with our base Blitzbeater.